Okay everybody, welcome to this unboxing video. It's going to be of our new thrower. This is the Javelin Pro. So let's check it out. Okay, so the Javelin Pro comes in this lovely box. Uh, this is based basically on the X9R box. So you can see you can lock it and secure it away. Um, and on the back you're going to have Javelin Pro and your serial number of the torch. So let's check it out. And the contents inside, you will get the manual of course, which tells you what you have in the normal torch and what you get in the kit. We'll do a separate unboxing of the kit and then just gives you your run times for um, charging it up and basic operation and of course different languages. So that is your uh, manual and you also get the sheath for it as well so you can attach that onto your belt that is some velcro so that will suit a lot of different sizes of belts and you have your d-ring here and of course a good pop stud there for it as well your recharge cable this is a similar size to the ones for the r50 but it is the uh, MCC 5 volt. So this is for the Javelin Pro only. So uh, make sure you use the correct one if you have the likes of an R50 Pro. I'm thinking of using that lead. Uh, make sure you use this one for the Javelin Pro. Um, we'll get the torch in a second, but just to give you a wee idea inside the box, all nicely cut out um, with the eggshell foam on top. Some people have said about maybe repurposing the box. And if they didn't need or weren't going to use the box, you can repurpose that for maybe storing your EDC lights in as well. But there you are, that's the box as it is. And say, of course, you can secure that with locks if needs be, or uh, cable ties or whatever as well. So that's the box that comes in. And the torch itself, when you get it, of course, you will have to uh, just take out a few bits and pieces. So remove the film from the lens and then from the back of the torch unscrew and then remove that yellow tab so there you are that is it you can turn it on from the uh, tail switch and then use the front to cycle through your low, medium, high and turbo you can do that and of course you have the traffic light system on here which will show you when it needs to be recharged currently that's on amber brand new out of the box so you can charge that up with the charging very simple just slap that on there to charge up it does take four and a half hours from empty to charge that up uh, from straight out of the box as you buy it you're probably looking about three hours there is some charge left in the batteries uh, when you get a chip to you, but um, you're chatting four and a half hours from dead and uh, to fully charged up. Very simple operation. You can use a tail switch to do a half press for low, um, or you can do a full hold on there for turbo momentary, or a full click for uh, full, and that'll be the 2100 lumens. Runtime on that. It will go for uh, about 10 minutes on the 2100 lumens, then gradually drop down to 1000 lumens and you get well over an hour runtime on that. So it's perfect for a night out lamp. On. With the battery, it is um, a seal unit. So if I unscrew the head, there is your battery. It's got two uh, 3500. 18650 batteries of the high discharge current batteries in it so you'll see that they are in there that's a sealed unit and that's how we get the maximum of lumens and the maximum runtime out of these batteries by having it as a sealed unit instead of two separate batteries screwing it back together you've got the more aggressive head the silver head and that just marries up and just screw that on tight and then the other threads black on the bottom and that's it so that's a very basic unboxing of the uh, Javelin Pro we will do a more detailed unboxing of the 
um, kit version and you're going to see some uh, footage now of the torch actually out in the field mounted on a rifle and in use so check that out okay guys so we're out in the field although you can't see it and we're going to test out the javla pro um, so we're going to uh, come out we've got some quite broad open fields here that we're going to put the javla pro through its paces and we have some filters here to try as well we have a red filter and a green filter uh, to pop onto the um, torch itself and hopefully get some shots with that we'll show you it mounted on the rifle as well i have the coyote tan with me and put on the rifle and then the black one here just to use as a throw so uh, we'll try and get some footage and um, show you what i can do this is it now on my rifle this is a cz 527 chambered in 223 this is an ideal foxing setup this sort of out time of year a uh, lot of fox cubs out and uh, on this permission and on others close by uh, i could be called upon to help um, just keep the fox numbers down due to them maybe taking lambs and uh, or chickens stuff like that there so uh, this is an ideal setup for that so we have a sound moderator on um, which obviously helps keep the noise down also helps with recoil but uh, this is a 223 so there's not a massive amount of recoil to worry about and uh, this is where traditionally um, we'll put the lamp on top of the torch and uh, of course in different countries some people put it forward um, but this is an ideal place to put it tries it keeps the weight in the middle and um, just a set of sh shooting sticks to be able to have the rifle up there now using a uh, 55 grain hollow points so we have around and chambered and safety is on now these shooting sticks um, it's very handy just to have the rifle um, sitting on there and then with the light just to be able to put it on and I can check through my scope what I'm doing to make sure everything is okay and if needs to be then to, uh, to fire a shot so very very nice I say when I'm out lamping um, if this permission if there were say lamp shy on white which the majority of the time yes and this is a brand new permission that nobody's ever ever shot on you will more than likely have them lamp shy on white very easy for me then to reach into my pocket pull out the filter push it on and there we are now in green so you should be able to see the green tint there uh, camera's not picking up just as good but um, and then so I've been able to then clearly see and take shot but if they're lamp shy on green be able to slip that off I put the green one in my right hand pocket and I know my red one is in my left hand pocket and I'll take that out and push it on and now we've got a red um, filter on and of course with the red colour spectrum you will not see as far with the naked eye but looking down a scope no problem at all you can clearly identify uh, what I want to shoot at so that's a, a, a good uh, way to have your rifle set up to make it really really simple we've put a lot of effort into the uh, lamp into having a really powerful white LED in there and then our filters our green is very very green and uh, the red is comparable as well to others so um, it's very simple you know for me to um, put the torch on and say line up for a shot and shooting into a bank here I know my backstop is good And that's it very very easy to do that and of course the torch is not affected at all with the recoil say on that uh, 223 
but you can have it say on a 223 you can put it on something a bit heavier if you wish 308 um, but it's it's a nice setup and uh, it's a crack on my torch and it does look completely different uh, with the coyote tan say it's sitting on top of a rifle um, but we'll have these in black or uh, the coyote tan and the kit the whole rifle kit will come in black so you can check that out so while I'm here, um, I just got a few messages to do around the farm, um, check some things and uh, then check a few more farms. So I'm going to go and do that and uh, we'll put you guys back to uh, what you're doing. Thanks for watching.